All right, Dan. Do it, Dan. Do it with 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 Dan. 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 Do it with Dan. Is there? I just got done filming my motorcycle game show, ta-da! And I uh, got a bunch of extra uh, time and fucking GoPro footage to kill, so why not do a video, yeah! It's just kind of a really nice day to ride. Like, it's hot on sands though, but it's comfortable when you're moving. Another one of those days, you know? The perks of living in a southern beach coastal environment, I guess. That shit worked out really funny though. I, I'm glad I got to do that. Totally an epic idea. Blah, 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 blah. Get off my fingers, money. I don't, uh, it's on me now. Whatever. I try to respond to just about every comment that I get on YouTube. Like, um, every time I see a comment, I even like the ones that are like, oh, Dan, you're awesome. My mom was like, thanks, bro. I try to I try to respond to just about every comment I can because I feel like interacting with your, uh, with your viewers is a good thing. My goal is to talk to everyone. Oh, this guy's got a KTM sticker on the back of his Dodge. He's one of the real boys. But like I said, I try to respond to every comment that I come across. But like, there's a problem with trying to do that. You know, sometimes the way Google Plus works, the, the Google Plus is the system that I use to check my comments because Google Plus. And uh, I don't get to see all of my comments sometimes. So every now and again, I'll be scrolling across a video that I haven't like watched in forever. It's mine and I'll be like, oh shit, I don't remember this comment. So it'll be like, hey, I know it's six months later, but I'm responding to you, yeah. <laughs> Another thing that happens a lot is like someone will ask a question on YouTube that I need to respond to. And the YouTube doesn't give me an op like an option to reply for whatever reason. It gives me the ability to thumbs up and thumbs down the comment, but no ability to reply. And I don't know why that is. So usually if it's a question that I can't respond to, I just thumbs up it. <laughs> so if you've ever like posted a comment that you think that I should respond to and I just thumb up it, that's why. I'm just gonna roll by and see if they got a GTR in the showroom right now. They had one last, uh, last month. I don't know why they have GTRs in Brunswick. It took them like a year to sell the one that they had. Let's see, let's see. There's no way these guys are open on Sunday. It's Sunday, it's customers. I, I can't even see inside there. Wow. Absolutely fucking useless. I don't see any cars out here that I like, so. <laughs> Two Xanax bars, little Percocet. Glory tabs. Two Xanax bars, I'm ready to get full. Bit the crown to wash it down. I'm downtown, snapping rules. Ain't no shame. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Billy, what's up? Two Xanax bars, I'm ready to get full. Got you grounded into my sound. Oh man, I got fucking, um. I got recognized the other day, twice, like in, in, in a week. I got recognized. I thought that was like the coolest fucking thing ever, man. Uh, first of all, there's this dude named Rob that goes to the gym and uh, like randomly comes up to me. I've never, I've never seen him before up until this point, but he comes up to me and goes, do it Dan, he puts out his hand to shake my hand. I was like, who fucking paid you to say that? <laughs> I was so convinced that someone had paid him to say, that, say my name. I was like, there's no way I'm being recognized right now locally. I just never thought I'd get to that point where people are like, oh, you're doing with Jan. I'm like, I understand the meetup, you know, there was people who were there specifically to see me. I just didn't, uh, it didn't register to me that people would actually start recognizing me on a local level. That's, cool. That's probably the coolest shit ever, you know? And then like a week later, not even a week later, probably like four days later, um, I was at a gas station in my car and I was getting out of my car to walk into the gas station and I hear, Dan, and I was like, Hello? I turn around and there's these two guys, a fucking car, I guess. I don't remember what the car was. There's two guys sitting in a car. Like, you're doing with Dan. I'm like, hello guys, that is me, yes. <laughs> so I'm so fucking excited, you know? I was more excited about it than they were. I was like, I've been recognized, yeah. I was so stoked, man. I've never been, like if anyone ever, like if I'm in, in public, you know, and you think you see me, you know, for whatever reason, just come up to me and be like, are you doing with Dan? I'll be like, fuck yeah, don't don't hesitate because you're worried it's not me, man. Take that risk. I would love it if he came up to me and was like, are you doing with Dan? I'm like, fuck yeah, I am. I'm so excited to hear people say that. Uh, it's hot. I'm dying actually right now. Come on, yeah, here we go. I'm just on the interstate for like no reason right now. I've got no uh, aspirations of doing anything out here. I just, 
felt like driving on the interstate for a little while. Now that I have my fucking fairing zip tied shut, it's not nearly as sketchy. Before that shit was flopping around like fucking meat curtains, like a fucking little baby bison. I, I have to poop right now, actually. I made this decision without pooping first, which was a mistake because like, if you ever have to poop on a motorcycle and you hit a bump, you really have to poop. Like really bad, real bad. Okay. He's got a Batman logo on it. I'm doing 95 and he just passed me. That means he's doing like 100. Zero to 100 real quick. A real fucking quick. If I go zero to one and nigga real quick. Real quick, whole squad. Da 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 I don't think I want to be over here. This looks like Rain City. Population me and that other biker up ahead. You guys, I can't believe that I'm fucking pushing 200,000 subscribers. As a matter of fact, when I'm recording this video right now, I have 193,000 subscribers. By the time I get done editing this video, I most likely will have my 200,000 subscribers. I can't fucking thank you guys enough. I can't believe how fast I've blown up. It's fucking incredible. I have no idea why or how, but like some, by some course of miracle, the whatever I got going on, you guys like. So I'm gonna keep doing what I do, keep thinking of new things. And uh, I'm gonna keep saying the word dick a lot. That's my favorite thing right now. Do it with dickhead. I also got a new intro. Sex. I need to get a new pipe put on this bike, like ASAP. Shit is sounding weak. And this is a CBR 1000 RR. It may not be a real bike, but it is a fast bike. And it deserves all the clear throatiness that I have to offer it. Hope this guy's, nope, he just feel like driving in the middle of the road. That's cool. It amazes me how much shit I say that I don't actually put in the video sometimes. Like there's like a huge chunk of me just talking to myself back there that I probably won't even put in the video because it's just fucking garbage. Just like me going, oh, look at this or that, or fucking look at all that water. That's, that's water. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? Are you looking at it? Could you just look at it? Would you, would you just look at that? Look at, look at it. Would you just look at that? You know, man, someone the other day said, I noticed someone posted a comment saying like, dude, it's very dangerous to moto vlog while you ride because you're talking. It's like talking on the phone. And I think that's, that's garbage. I think that's absolute garbage. I think it's the other way around, man. I think, I think talking on the phone is significantly more dangerous than moto vlogging. And here's why I say that. When I'm riding or just listening to music while I ride, my mind isn't really active. My mind is just kind of like in coast mode, you know, I'm just cruising. Like, this is me listening to music. Like Miley Cyrus, dead. Diamonds twerking on my... So I'm not active. I'm not like <clears throat> super hyper aware. When I'm moto vlogging, I'm looking at a bunch of different things. Like I'm, I'm, my fucking eyes are moving around. I'm talking, my hands are moving. <clears throat> my brain is, is much more active. Honestly, because when you're talking on the phone, you're having a conversation with someone else that you can't really stop. Like, you know, like you have to listen to other people's thoughts and your brain has to process what someone else is saying. But when you say shit, your brain's already like processed it, right? That's how it works. So you already understand the garbage that's coming out of my mouth, or I already understand the garbage that's coming out of my mouth because it's my mouth. Whereas like, like listening to other people talk, you know, your brain has to like take time away from what it's doing and process what someone else is saying. I'm no fucking scientist, but that's how I would assume it works. Fucking science and shit. I could be wrong, but that's just how it feels because when I'm talking and I'm motor vlogging, I feel much more aware of my surroundings. I'm like, I'm like, okay, this is what's going on. Um, look at that. Look, look at this fucking asshole in front of me who won't go fucking drive. So I feel like I'm, I'm much more aware of what's going on around me when I'm motor vlogging because I'm looking for things to talk about. I'm, I'm listening to like shit that's going on around me. I'm paying attention more. That's just my two cents on the matter. Motor vlogging isn't nearly as dangerous as people think. I mean, like, <clears throat> you'll find a billion more videos of someone crashing because they're wheeling or like fucking didn't get enough time to brake in time. But I don't, I can't find any videos of people just motor vlogging like Lottie didn't die uh, dead, you know? Maybe not dead. Or, you know, ah, my back. I just, I just don't feel like motor vlogging is a, a dangerous thing to do. As a matter of fact, I feel like it honestly helps. Oh man, Taco Bell. Here's the thing, man. I really want to get some Taco Bell right now. 
Like that looks so good. But I'm pretty sure I already have diarrhea. I've got nothing to do today. I'm like, like my, girl, Laura's at work doing a job. <laughs> she, she's got a fucking job, you know? Wonder what he's doing. He's showing on the side of the interstate. Wave to him, make him seem like I know him. I try to wave to a lot of the cops around here because I feel like it helps with, um, it, it helps kind of like spread the relationship between bikes and cops, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's straight up people like me that give bikers a bad name sometimes with some of the shit that I do. But at the same time, I can't tell you how many people I've seen say, you know, Dan, I had no idea what, what the, was going through the mind of a biker. So your videos, your videos kind of show me that and I realize that not all bikers are asshole arrogant pricks, you know? And I'm like, I mean, I'm a total prick, but I'm not an arrogant, I don't think. Maybe I am, whatever. I'm tired of talking about myself today. Blah, 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 me, blah, 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 blah. I can't believe I have a bike with working blinkers and shit, man. I never had a bike with working blinkers before. I am smelling like a rose. That's some fun. Oh, we got some bikes back there. I love these big bikes like this. <clears throat> I used to, I used to dislike them. But uh, I kind of sat on a, a Honda Goldwing or whatever, like limited edition. It's fucking awesome. Hell yeah, what's up? I'll fucking cruise for a little bit, why not? Like, I'm not making fun of their bikes, but the way that dude's feet are fucking sprawled out are hilarious. It looks comfortable, don't get me wrong, but that shit is just funny to me. Let me ask you guys' opinion on this. If you're riding around with you and your friend or a buddy or something like that, and uh, you guys pass a bike and he tags along, do you find any issue with that? I mean, I've always been like, you know, the more the merrier as far as bikes, but I realize that not every biker thinks like I do. When, I'm, when I ride a motorcycle, I'm like super like engulfed in like, yes, people, you know, like fucking more. And I'm not sure if everyone thinks like that, you know, some people are like, fuck off, leave me alone, I'm just riding, you know, and I'm, that's cool, whatever. I'm not trying to ruin anyone's so I, I try to keep some distance. Fucking, look at these people's formation, dude. I'm guessing that's him and his wife or his girlfriend. She, she has a cool ass helmet. Now if I was on my Magna, completely different story, I'm sure. The way people would look at me, different. Their bikes are pretty loud. I can hear both of them very clearly. Fucking sweet bikes. Man, look at this big ass fucking truck. Holy shit. Power stroke. That was my nickname in college. Ah. Let's see what this Ford dealership's got on the lot. Let's go here, yeah. Oh, fucking dirt. Oh, fuck yeah. That's the thing to do, man. Just cruise to the dealership on Sunday every now and again. Ooh, that red, though. Oh, that fucking red. Ooh, it's a 5 0. -oh. What? What? What the fuck? Automatic fucking A. That's like the, apparently me and this other dude had the same idea. Fortunately, he's here first, so I look like the fucking weirdo. Ooh, we got a C5. Oh, we got a fucking Z06 C5, or what, same year, it's probably 2002. I've been looking at these two, man. I need to get rid of the BM scrub so bad. How much do they want for this shit? 24.9. I mean, it's Z06, but fuck. Don't be automatic. I don't think the Z06s came in automatic. Nah, they didn't. The interior's not bad on that. How many miles it's got? No mileage on there? Really? You have a car out here and ain't gonna have no miles on it? Z06, huh? You know what? That's not bad. It's clean. The fucking balloon is stuck to me. Mike Murphy, Ford I-95. <laughs> not bad. I'll probably come back and look at it. Like I said, I've been trying to get rid of the BM scrub and uh, I got a buddy or two in the business who might be able to help me. Help me! Help me! Ain't nobody got time for that! Ain't nobody got time for that! Nope, not a GT, not a GT, don't care. Unless it's a GT. Guess where I'm from. And I don't give a shit about trucks. Nope, don't care about trucks. That beat a sheriff car. They're probably just getting service done because it is a, uh, 
a Ford vehicle. Oh, and there's another cop car there, though. That's a pretty looking GT. <gasps> oh, real nice. I want that one. I want that cop car one. I want that one, too. Because as you guys know, I'm getting rid of the BM scrub soon. And uh, I'm just so tired of of that car for a few reasons. Oh, that's not a CTSV. Don't give a shit. Nope. Whole lot of nope. Well, there's nothing else on the lot that I'm interested in. Challengers are heavy and slow. Chargers are even heavy and slower. I like the Mustang GTs. A little expensive. Oh, okay, a lot expensive. And that's an automatic. I refuse to go back to automatic. I refuse. I refuse. I, I fucked up when I sold my truck and I got an automatic car. I fucked up. I admit my sins. I've repented. All right, we can fix it. All right, this is an exit ramp. You're gonna have to go faster than that to get on the interstate. It's in D, it stands for fucking go. All right guys, we made it up to 55 miles an hour. Oh my God, he's hit 60. Save me Tom Cruise. Oh, I feel so much better. 